In this video, we're going to talk about a romantic movie called My Fault. The story revolves around a young girl named Noah, who is getting ready to move to a new house. While packing, she finds an old picture of herself and her father, taken during a car race. Noah decides to keep the photo with her. During her journey, Noah talks to her mother, who reveals that they will be moving in with Noah's wealthy stepmother. He rescued Noah's mother from poverty after her divorce from an alcoholic and abusive ex-husband. Noah isn't happy about the move because she doesn't want to leave her friends and boyfriend. Noah arrives at her stepmother's grand mansion, owned by a man named Emmanuel. He warmly welcomes Noah and her mother, but Noah isn't very interested in him. As she explores the luxurious mansion, she realizes how much her mother's life has changed since being with Emmanuel. Noah's mother takes her to a room with a beautiful view of the sea and tells her that she deserves to live in the house just like her stepbrother, Nicholas. After her mother leaves, Noah looks at the photo again and feels deeply moved by it. She goes out to the balcony and unexpectedly sees Nicholas there. At that moment, Noah receives a phone call from her friend who tells her how lucky she is because her mother married a rich man. The friend suggests that Noah will inherit part of their fortune, ensuring she won't be poor. However, Noah expresses her dislike for the spoiled rich lifestyle. Nicholas, who is also Noah's love interest, suddenly appears. It is revealed that Nicholas is her stepbrother, which makes their relationship complicated. Nicholas tries to scare Noah with his aggressive dog, but then calms the dog down. This angers Noah and she storms off into Nicholas's room. In the evening, Noah, her mother, Emmanuel, and Nicholas go out for a family dinner. While in the car, Noah looks at her own photos and those of her boyfriend and sends him a message, asking him to call her back. Nicholas drives past Noah in his car and gives her a seductive and admiring look. When they arrive at the restaurant, the family members sit at the dinner table and engage in conversation. Emmanuel praises Nicholas, mentioning that he is a skilled surfer and a successful law student with a promising future. However, Noah dismisses Nicholas as a spoiled failure, suggesting that his opportunities are only due to his wealthy father. Frustrated, Noah decides to leave, and Emmanuel asks Nicholas to take her home. Nicholas drives the car fast and skillfully, but Noah is scared and criticizes his driving calling him arrogant and reckless. Nicholas laughs at her and tells her that his mother approves of his actions because she only loves him. However, Noah responds by saying that Nicholas knows nothing about his mother's love. This annoys Nicholas, and he stops the car halfway, asking Noah to get out. He drives off, leaving Noah shocked, especially since her phone battery is dead. Fortunately, Nicholas's friend arrives in time, and takes Noah with him in his car to a party where wealthy young people like Nicholas are present. Noah arrives at the party with Nicholas's friend, who points out Nicholas to her. Noah seems jealous and angry when she sees Nicholas surrounded by many girls who like him, but Nicholas notices her presence and asks how she is doing. Noah responds by threatening to tell her father that Nicholas stays at the wrong kind of parties. Nicholas warns Noah and asks her to move out of the way, then leaves. Afterward, a girl named Gina suggests that Noah come with her to the party and introduces herself as Nicholas's friend. Noah starts drinking wine, and Ronnie looks at her with an evil look. Nicholas notices that Noah is drunk and decides to drive her home in his car. After they arrive home, Nicholas carries the unconscious Noah and takes her to his bed. He then leaves, and Noah dreams of childhood memories with her mother, trying to hide in the closet before her father beats her. The next morning, Noah sits with Jinn at the beach and notices Nicholas's presence. He has come for a surfing hobby. It seems like all the girls want to talk to him because he is the richest person there. Nicholas goes to surf the waves of the sea, and Noah looks at him with a strange expression. At night, Nicholas participates in a car race for the wealthy, and Ronnie challenges him. The first race is between a racer from Ronnie's team and Nicholas. Nicholas sees Noah coming from afar, 
and is so impressed by his beauty that he is late for the start of the race. He tries to use his skills to catch up with his rival, but keeps looking at Noah, and visibly feels jealous of the young man approaching her. Noah stands with Gina and Leon, watching the race from a distance. At the last corner of the race, Nicholas's rival's car breaks down. Nicholas manages to win the race, and everyone celebrates his victory. Noah sees photos where her lover appears to be cheating on her with her best friend, and she becomes very angry. She starts drinking and dancing. Nicholas notices Noah dancing with another young man, and feeling angry and jealous, approaches her and yells at her, asking her to respect him as he considers her his sister and doesn't want to see her in immoral situations. But Noah responds by saying that she allowed the young man to approach her to take pictures with him and send them to her unfaithful lover for revenge. Nicholas seizes the opportunity and suggests that Noah send her picture with him to her lover instead of the other guy, and Noah accepts his proposal, although she is surprised by his actions toward her. After that, Nicholas asks Noah to stay in the race car and wait for Jinnah to arrive, but Noah seems impressed with the car and sits in the driver's seat. Ronnie parks his car next to the red car. Noah gets into Ronnie's car, thinking she's Ronnie's rival who belongs to Nicholas's team. But Noah is surprised when Ronnie tells her that she's just an ordinary girl. Ronnie lies to Noah, saying that Nicholas will lose the bet and might lose her red car if she doesn't race now. Ronnie taunts Noah and tells her that she will be allowed to start five seconds ahead in the race. When the race begins, everyone, including Nicholas, is surprised because the race cars don't move. Throughout the race, it becomes clear that Noah is a highly skilled professional car racer. Evidence of her expertise is a picture of her with her father, who is also a car racer. Runny, scared, tries to force Noah out of the race by rubbing her car, but Noah stands up to him and defeats him convincingly. Noah gets out of the car and everyone celebrates her victory. However, Nicholas is angry with her because he lost the race because of her. Ronnie asks Noah to give him his car keys as he was supposed to be her rival from the beginning, not Noah. Nicholas is forced to hand over his car keys to Ronnie, who insults Nina, feeling offended that he lost to her. Nicholas fights violently with Ronnie to defend Noah. Noah breaks down and becomes terrified recalling painful childhood memories of her father abusing her mother. Gina, Noah's friend, takes her to the car, and Nicholas also gets in. They run away from the place. The next morning, Noah wakes up to a message from a stranger cursing her, and she shows it to Gina. We see Noah's mother asking her husband, Emmanuel, for his opinion on a dress she wants to wear for a special occasion. She asks him why he helped her, and Emmanuel responds, saying that he fell in love with her at first sight and decided to marry her without considering saving her from poverty. We return to Nicholas, who is sitting with his little sister Maddie, who is his half-sister from his mother's second marriage. Nicholas takes care of Maddie because she has diabetes. At night, Nicholas watches an action scene of cars in an Indian movie with Noah. He comments that the car maneuvers in the movie seem impossible, but Noah assures him that they are easy and tries to explain how to do them. Noah asks Nicholas where he has been all day, and Nicholas responds, saying he spent his day with someone close to his heart, referring to his little sister Maddie. Noah apologizes for the consequences of her actions, and they end up sharing a romantic kiss. The next morning, Noah is washing the car when she sees her ex-boyfriend with her mother. It's clear that Noah's mother is suspicious of a relationship between Noah and Nicholas. She plans to rekindle Noah's relationship with her ex-boyfriend, as she considers Nicholas to be just Noah's brother and wants to prevent their relationship from developing. Noah quickly goes to Nicholas and asks for his help because she sent a picture of her with him to her ex-boyfriend and she doesn't want him to see it. It could cause a scandal, especially since Nicholas is seen as her brother. Noah's ex-boyfriend tries to talk to her, but Noah ignores him, and Nicholas teases him without revealing his face. Noah talks with Nicholas, 
but he laughs at her and playfully pulls her into the pool. After she gets out of the pool, No finds a bouquet of roses from her mother with a card that says she will pay for her actions. She asks her ex-boyfriend about the threats on the card, but he claims to know nothing about the bouquet or the threats. In another scene, an unknown person is seen talking to Runny, who was beaten by Noel in the car race. The next morning, the family members have lunch together. Noel receives another threatening letter, but she doesn't know who is threatening her. Noah goes with Nicholas and his friends in the car. Mario asks Noah how she learned to drive so well, but a girl in the back interrupts and says Noah learned from her famous father who used to race cars. Mario asks where her father is, but she simply says he's gone. Nicholas arrives at the place for a street fight. Noah seems scared, but Nicholas assures her not to worry as he enjoys street fights to release his anger. He enters the ring and fights fiercely, until he easily defeats his opponent. Nina can't watch the violent fight because her abusive father traumatized her when she was young. Mario tries to comfort her, but Nicholas beats him up to protect Noah. Noah asks Nicholas to stay away from her because she fears him and other violent people, including her cruel father. After several days pass, we see Nicholas running by the sea, trying to become a better person and find inner peace. He does this out of love for Noah, even though he can't believe he's fallen in love with someone like a sister. One day, Emmanuel tells Nicholas some information about Noah's real father. He explains that her father tried to harm Noah when she was young because he relied on violence to solve problems. Emmanuel also reveals that her father recently got out of jail after Noah testified against him, and he asks Nicholas to take care of Noah, warning that her father is dangerous and should go back to prison. At night, the stranger who came with Ronnie earlier sits in his car outside a house. Noah is inside having a party with her friends. Later, Noah comes out drunk with her friends, and Nicholas arrives to pick her up. However, Noah goes back inside to get her jacket. Nicholas's girlfriend plays a prank on Noah by locking her in a closet, causing her to panic and recall a time when her father locked her in a safe. Nicholas comes to her rescue and takes her home, staying by her side all night as she has been feeling scared lately. Emmanuel sees Nicholas sleeping next to Noah and realizes they have a strong bond. The next day, Nicholas takes Noah to visit his sister Maggie in the hospital. Noah learns that Nicholas participated in street fighting to pay for his sister's medical expenses because their wealthy father refused to help. That night, Nicholas and Noah spend a romantic evening on the beach and confess their love for each other. On their way back, Ronnie kidnaps Noah. Nicholas reports it to his father and Noah's mother. The investigators identify Ronnie as the kidnapper from the surveillance footage. Meanwhile, Noah's real father appears and admits that he ordered his men to kidnap her. He demands a ransom of $1 million to release Noah. Emmanuel and Noah's mother go to a certain place to give the money, but Noah's father doesn't come. Noah's mother realizes he never really cared about the money. He wanted to make them scared and suffer, as he watches them on a tablet. Nicholas is in the car with the detective and tells him about Ronnie. Ronnie took his red car, which has a tracking device they can use to find him. However, Noah's father discovers the plan and tries to run away. Nicholas chases him, leading to an exciting car chase like in a Hollywood movie. Noah's father makes Noah drive the car while he tries to shoot Emmanuel and her mother. The chase ends in a place with no way out, and Noah's father tells her to crash into Nicholas's car. Nicholas communicates telepathically with Noah, and they use spinning motions they saw in an Indian movie to avoid the crash. The detective shoots Noah's father and the plan is successful. Noah's mother feels relieved when she sees that her ex-husband's life is over. She kisses her daughter, and Emmanuel kisses Nicholas in a very emotional scene. It's clear that Nicholas and Noah deeply love each other. Noah's mother asks Emmanuel for a divorce, so Noah can marry Nicholas.